Hi, it's Marieta. Thank you so much for tuning in in today's video. I want to talk about the hold on green cards. What is my opinion? What are the updates? What's going on with these green cards coming up? <laughs> So let's discuss what's happening with these green cards. Is there actually a hold on the green cards within the United States? So here's the deal, guys. There is no official source telling that there is any kind of hold on the green card processing within the United States. If you are familiar with the executive order that um, President Trump issued on April 23rd, which, by the way, I made a video, which I'm going to link somewhere here for you. This executive order is talking about the suspension hold on certain mm, certain obviously green cards and um, also the exemptions uh, exceptions what which green cards are exempt such as EB2 national interest waiver EB5 etc. Um, so I made a video on this you can go back and check that video if you need for the clarification now in general the green cards adjustment of status within the United States were not impacted by this immigration ban, right? Which was and still is in place for 60 days because it was issued on 23rd of April. And um, right now it's still in place for 60 days. So the green card when it comes to adjustment of status I-485 within the United States uh, were not impacted by this immigration ban. However, However, the reality might be different, but there is no official source, guys. So that's why, uh, as far as I know, green cards, uh, especially within the United States, are being processed. However, the, the time, the speed is different. Uh, and that's due to several factors, right? It's due to the fact that um, there is... Um, there is the financial challenge for USCIS as of now. It's also due to the fact that only certain service centers are being opened. There are other USCIS centers that are actually being still closed. So things are happening in a very different, unprecedented way. But there is no official source claiming that the processing of adjustment of status and the green cards within the United States are officially suspended. So this is something that I want to tell you and keep that in mind because there, there are, you know, different sources, different um, articles out there claiming their, the process of these uh, different green cards might be adjusted and might be impacted, but there is still no official source. So that being said, uh, I just wanted to clarify this. Another thing I want to say is that the immigration ban, again, is and was impacting immigration to the United States. That doesn't necessarily mean that it was impacting uh, non-immigrant visa types, such as E2 visa, because I personally focus on E2 visas. Uh, however, there might be ban um, impacting different visa categories, especially non-immigrant visa categories, which Again, I already made a video, so if you like, you can check it out. I'm going to link it here for you. Uh, so guys, this situation, the reality is such that it's, it's evolving on weekly basis. And that's why you just need to stay updated. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about uh, U.S. embassies, uh, reopening U.S. embassies updates, because there are still people who email me and asking me, um, what to do, what's up with my uh, green card processing. And then there are some people who are my clients and, you know, they are in, in processing. They have already paid the application fee three months ago, especially when it comes to um, the interview scheduling and so on. So I will be discussing this in the next video. So you definitely want to stay tuned. And if you guys any question, comments, you can definitely post them below this video. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification button so you are actually notified every time I release new content. These days I'm releasing content every second day. Uh, and also I do have an Instagram account that you can check it out. And I usually post um, twice, three times a week additional content on my Instagram account. Lastly, I want to say uh, there is a webinar for people who are aspiring entrepreneurs who want to start a business in US because as you know, E2 visa is not being impacted. As far as I know, EB5 is not being impacted. 
So if you're somebody within this category, you definitely want to check out the free webinar. The link is going to be below. If you need consultation with me, link is going to be also below. And I do have a separate channel, my personal channel, where I talk about different topic than immigration, but mainly like how to sustain this challenge that we are all going through uh, emotionally with mindset, etc. So if you wish, you can check it out. It's going to be somewhere here. So stay tuned for upcoming video. Stay safe. Stay well. I'll see you soon.